Lower your arms. Now we will do tensing the calf. Toes should point slightly outward. Exhaling, raise the left heel and transfer the body weight onto the ball of the foot so that the weight is almost completely taken off the right leg. Feel the tension of the calf muscles. Inhaling, come back to the center. Repeat the exercise five times and then practice it on the other side. So exhaling, raise the left heel, transfer the body weight. Inhaling, come back to the center. This asana is particularly beneficial to help relieve varicose veins and stimulates blood circulation throughout the legs. Now go ahead and transfer your weight to the right leg this time if you haven't switched already. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, transfer the weight onto the ball of your right foot. Inhale, come back to center. Lower your arms and return to the starting position. We will now take a couple moments break in Anandasan so you can lie back down on your mat. Lie comfortably on the back. The feet fall loosely away from each other. The arms lie relaxed beside the body with the palms facing up. If necessary, place a pillow under the head or the knees to ensure neck and lower back are comfortable. Close the eyes and relax the eyelids. Feel the whole body from the toes to the top of the head and from the top of the head to the toes. Guide your attention to any part of the body where there might be tension and consciously relax that part of your body. Allow your breath to become slower and more relaxed. Feel a sense of inner quiet and peace. Relaxation is an important prerequisite for the optimal performance and benefits of the yoga exercises. Therefore, Anandasan is practiced at the beginning and end of each exercise session, as well as between the exercises. Just relax. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your arms and legs a little. And come to a sitting position with your legs straight. The back should be straight and relaxed. We will now do Pavan Muktasan, knee to head variation. Clasp the fingers under the right knee and raise the right leg slightly off the floor. Inhale deeply. Exhaling, bend the right knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Ensure the back remains straight.
bend the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead or the nose. At this stage, the back can bend slightly. Inhaling, raise the head, straighten the upper body, and straighten out the leg. Do not touch the floor with the foot. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bend the right knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Bring the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead or the nose. Inhaling, raise the head, straighten the upper body and straighten out the leg, but do not touch the floor with your foot. Exhale, bend the right knee, pull the thigh towards the body. Bend the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead or the nose. Inhale, raise your head, straighten the upper body and straighten out the leg. Exhale, bend the right knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Bend the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead or the nose. Inhaling, raise the head, straighten the upper body and straighten out your leg. Exhale, bend the right knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Bend the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead. Inhaling, raise your head, straighten the upper body, and straighten out the leg. You may now place your right leg on the floor. Now we'll work on the left leg. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bend the left knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Ensure the back remains straight. Bend the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead or the nose. At this stage, the back can bend slightly. Inhaling, raise the head, straighten the upper body, and straighten out your left leg, but do not touch the floor with your foot. Exhale, bend the left knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Bend the head forward and touch the knee with the forehead or the nose. Inhaling, raise the head, straighten the upper body, and straighten out the leg. Exhaling, bend the left knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Bend your head forward and touch your knee with your forehead or nose. Inhaling, raise your head, straighten your upper body, and straighten out your leg. Exhale, bend the left knee and pull the thigh towards the body. Bend the head forward and touch your knee with your forehead or nose. Inhaling, raise your head, straighten your upper body, and straighten out the leg, but do not touch the floor. One more time, exhaling, bend your left knee and pull your thigh towards the body. Bend your head forward and touch your knee with your forehead or nose. Inhaling, raise your head, straighten your upper body, and straighten out your leg. You may now rest it on the floor. Now we will do half butterfly. So sit with your back and legs straight. Breathing normally, place the right foot on top of the left thigh as close to the hip as possible. The sole of the foot faces up. If this leg position is difficult, the foot can also be placed on the floor along the inside of the thigh close to the body. Personally, I like to warm up this one by starting with my foot on the floor and then gradually moving to my foot on my thigh. Hold the toes of the right foot with the left hand. With slight pressure, move the knee up and down about 10 times with the right hand. Return to the starting position. Now place the left foot on top of the right thigh as close to the hip as possible. The sole of the foot faces up. Hold the toes of the left foot with the right hand. With slight pressure, move the knee up and down about 10 times with your left hand.
return to the starting position. If this hurts your ankles, knees, or hips, you should avoid this exercise. Now we will do Madhuri or the cat. Sit in Vidrasan, back on your heels. Hands rest on the thighs. The back is straight and relaxed. Inhaling, raise the arms straight in front to shoulder height with the palms facing down. Keeping the back straight, come up onto the knees. Exhaling, bend forward and place the hands on the floor so that arms and legs are at right angles to the floor. Spread your fingers. Arch the back upward like a cat. At the same time, bow the head down and look towards the navel. The whole spine is arched. Inhaling, move the back in the opposite direction and raise the head. The whole of the spine is extended <clears throat> and the abdominal muscles are relaxed. Look up as far as possible so the front of the chest is expanded. Repeat this movement of the back a further three times in rhythm with the breath. your next inhalation, come up onto the knees again with the arms stretched forward. Exhaling, return to the starting position. 